Did you know you shouldn't stand 15 feet away from 10 pounds of tannerite? It's not wise to shoot a shotgun with explosive rounds at point blank range. Don't throw a loaded shotgun shell spear. Like ever. <laughs> Never trust a random conversion kit to not commit a felony and go full auto. <laughs> Always check twice before you zip up your pants. What were you looking at? Oh, you were filming. I thought you were, I thought you saw. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. We have a brand new gun. Uh, this is a PSA crink. So this is our first crink. We have a lot of AKs and we have some similarly sized ones. We have some SBRs and some pistol AKs. What makes this really cool is it's very hard to get a crink. Unless you have like $4,000, you can get a crink. Until today, when PSA made this, comes in just under $1,000. And the other thing, most cranks are chambered in 545 by 39, which is a hard to get round, which means also very expensive. But this one is chambered in 556. The same round that an Air 15 is chambered in, and the same round that is in every sporting goods store in America. I haven't shot it yet, but uh, I'm freaking pumped. Okay, giddy up. I'm blind. <laughs> that was bright. <laughs> that flash. Holy cow. Five, five, six uh, originally was shot a bunch in M16s, which have a 20 inch barrel. So it's made to burn and speed up that whole way. This has like a eight inch barrel. Let's just shoot it fast. Dude, <laughs> holy cow. Yeah, I can see your shadow. Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna get sunburned from this thing. That is insane. That's so cool. Let's compare it to some other things. That fireball, the lighting is perfect for fireballs. It's great. Here we have our crank, PSA. This is also a PSA, it's PSA 105. So it's a short barrel as well, not as short as the crank. Uh, this is, we've SBR'd this one. This one is chambered in 545 by 39, which is the same as most cranks, not this one, are chambered in. Um, and then these are these are USA made. These two are also made in USA, Kalishnikov USA guns here. This is an AK-104. This one is chambered in 762 by 39. This one is our little nine millimeter AK, but all of these, our SBRs. This is also a USA made AK. This is made by Meridian Defense. The Meridian's also chambered in 5.56. We are going to chronograph uh, the Crink 5.56 with a short barrel versus the Meridian 5.56 with, it's got like four more inches on it, which is a lot. Nice. Uh, and we're also going to chronograph the M16 with 20 inch barrel, uh, which is also 5.56. And we'll see the difference between the short, medium, and long barrel. America. Let's get cranky. Hmm. One of these, I just want to shoot right into the screen. <laughs> Never let them know your next move. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. 24.57. Okay. 24. So, yeah, we're going to be about. Yeah, man. That's, well, that one. That one may have not read right. 24.28. Am I not waiting long enough? Why are we getting 500s? I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna go with 24 to 25. It's pretty fast. Slightly longer barrel out of this one. Let's try to not shoot the screen. Oh, it's a press too, I forgot. 26, seven. 27, four, seven. 27, four, seven. Hey, you're, you're missing. All right, I figure out where it's going. All right, yeah, what do you say, about 2,700? Yeah. So about 200 faster. And now we're going probably another five, six inches? Uh, 12. Well, oh, no, that was minus, like 12. Yeah, that's a lot inches. more. So we should be 3,000. Wait, my math is terrible. Yeah, we should be over 3,000 here. 3,152. I don't know where this one's going. There it is. 
32. Dang. Man, that's that a screaming. lot faster. I wonder what it does to small mammals. Or Joe. We have those two cats. I like Mauser. You only said one name. Okay. <laughs> we are going to shoot some ballistics gel. First with the crank, and then we will shoot it with the 20-inch M16. Actually, I haven't sighted this thing in at this close. It, we'll just hope it goes right where it says it's going to go. It's not. It's a little low. So I need to go a little high. Aim high. Yeah. Aim, aim at like the literal top of the, of the block. That and hit the table. You missed. I was aiming at the literal top of the block. <laughs> okay. And it went six <laughs> inches low. Wow. I will aim three inches above the block this time. Did that miss? So first shot, way too low. So it actually hit the table and bounced up and went in. We thought it didn't go in there, but it did go in. Second shot, just skimmed too high. So I'm gonna aim one inch above it. Let's see if that works. It's really hard to aim above something because it covers it up. All right, this should be it though. Yep. So it went in. Yeah. Bullet is right back there. Look, they both turned around. Turned around backwards. That's crazy. This one's a lot more deformed because it went through a table before it came in here. Yeah. And uh, Dude, actually, that's cool. Look at that. That's crazy. How wide that is. All that black in there. Well, look at the look at the pattern it took too. Flip it back this way. Like it. It looks like it. It. Yeah. You know. Turned we'll, sideways we'll right see there. See where it turned around. Yeah. Cool. To the slow mo. To the slow mo. This one should be going a heck of a lot faster and put a much bigger wound into the gel block. Ah, did that go out the bottom or I hit table first? Mm, I don't know. I saw pieces of table fly out. Maybe it just cavitated it through the table. It could be it. It is broken down there already. Nope, we went right in. Cool, right there. Did that bullet go through? I'm pretty sure it went through. I don't see it. I don't see three bullets in there. Oh, it curved out the side. Mm. I'm gonna curve it out right here. It came in super straight too. Yeah, so it went in straight, right there. Just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start straight, stuff happens. You know, life happens. And yeah, it came out right here. Crazy. It Dude. looks like it, it started cavitating at the same place though. Yeah, and it obviously pushed a lot of pressure down here because it blew out the table underneath. Yeah. The extra speed definitely made a bigger wound cavity. Let's shoot the crink. I, this is my new crink. Uh, never mind. You got there well we put a uh cr5 on it so suppressed 556 five, crank i'm gonna shoot like this in case it explodes <laughs> why would it do that oh that was cool that was cool and you notice no fireball <laughs> it's venting out of here and i can feel like blowing my hair up right here it's not hitting him in the eyeballs like the the gas is just going poof a little poof of gas that was pretty funny. Dude, this is cool. I'm just getting this gun super hot. Yeah, no kidding. We should, uh, we need to put a K&S piston in that. This thing will be super cool suppressed all the time. God, this is so cool. I want one now. Yeah, this is awesome. I like that package all suppressed. I mean, I like the five foot fireballs that are coming out of it too, <laughs> but this is uh, all that unburned powder. much more manageable. I like that it comes with a brace too. Yeah, I like. Uh, it sounds like we're really sucking up. Um, we actually like this thing though. Uh, we have a couple old Texas Speed engine blocks. One is cast iron and one is aluminum. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot a couple rounds and we'll go see what it does. But I'm, I'm kind of nervous for uh, uh, ricochets. You know, I don't know why. That was cast iron. Ooh. 
saw something fly off of that one. Something flew? No, well, like I saw like a spark. Oh. Let's go check it out. All the stuff on my hands. That could uh, be from anything. One of them hit right there. Oh man, they're not doing anything that cast iron. There's the hit right there. And that's hit right there. So it looks like Dude. it came in, skidded there, and did that. Hardly anything. So this one broke a little piece off of that bolt hole there. This should be a lot softer over here. Where did we hit though? Oh, there's a hit right there. Oh, it came in right here. Boom. Okay, where are the other hits? Oh, there's a hit in there. Mm, in that there. might be what I saw. And there's a hit, went right in here. And it was kind of coming at this angle, so it went and broke that out. So a little bit of damage, but not a lot actually. I thought it would do more damage to aluminum. Let's shoot a 762 by 39. Much bigger, heavier bullet going slower. 762 by 39. Oh man, do we got batteries in this thing? Of course not. I'm hitting. Oh wait, wait I can see it. Oh, <laughs> we're in. We're in. Nice. Dude, there's sparks coming off of that thing. Okay. Jeez. I mean, it looks like it's doing more damage. I think it's just hitting in here and it did nothing. Yeah, there's one hit there. That's new. It pretty much just knocks paint off, though, of cast iron. All right, we got one hit on our steel sleeve here. Another one that went in and broke our sleeve there. Um, yeah, it was pretty boring. Um, sorry. I feel like that was really boring. Yeah, definitely. So I, I like the idea of shooting all these Bud Lights, but how do we transition to that without being too political? I mean, I think any transition can be subtle. Yeah, if we just keep the transition subtle enough that no one notices. Yeah. I mean, and they'll just, it'll just be like an, any normal day. It's a non-issue. I would shoot any beer. Yeah. I mean. It's nothing to do with the fact that it's Who's fun. supposed to be, a beer is a beer, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they taste like crap. Sometimes they taste really good. Did y'all see my fireball though? I couldn't see anything. Yeah. This thing's just shooting fire straight up. My ears are on, so it's good. It's okay. I'm Your ears weren't on the whole. <laughs> Always wear ear protection, right, Jenna? What? This is an awesome gun. So yeah, check this thing out. Freaking cool. And if there are any instructors who uh, want to come teach some AK courses at my range, let us know. Also, go check me out on the Matt Carrick channel. Link in the description below. I'm spending way more time over there. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Wait, did you cut yet? Did you want me to? this video.